It's the Eagle Community Television Forum with your host, Gary Shorman. Hi everyone, this is the Forum on Eagle Community Television. I'm Gary Shorman. The Forum is brought to you by Hayes Med. We have a special guest today, one of the stars of the Fort Hayes State basketball program this past year from the women's team, Kate Lehman is our guest today. Kate, good to have you here. Good to be here. You know, we heard that uh, you were going to get an opportunity to come here following graduation mm -hmm. and uh, talk to us not only about your career, but some of the things. And it's like, this is exciting because so many of us have been out to Gross Memorial Coliseum, we've watched you play basketball, score in the last year over 600 points here, uh, 655 points to be exact. <laughs> it's fun to have you here. What do you remember about your first basketball shot that you ever took of all time? I'm going to go back to <laughs> square one. Wow. And we're going to talk about that and, and see where were you first, where did you first start playing basketball? Oh. Probably on my driveway. In the driveway? Know. Yes, I have some older siblings that like to play and some younger siblings. And we had a lot of driveway games. And then I did rec league growing up and my dad always coached. So that was probably the early, early years of it. Well, you know, you see people that start and do as well as you have done. And, and when you see that, it, it goes back a long time. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of practice that goes into that. You played at Newton yes. High School. You were an all-stater there as well. Uh, and then went to Fort Hay State all four years. Did you ever imagine you'd be in the chair talking about <laughs> being a Division II uh, Athlete of the Year? No, I didn't, especially in high school because I wasn't this good in high school. <laughs> um, my skills really developed in college, and so this is kind of surreal. Well, talk about that a little bit as, you know, from first year when you look at your entire career, the number of points that you scored. I have down that you had nearly 2,000 points in your career, uh, almost 19, well, 1,917 points and over 1,100 rebounds. Why did, you, why did that change? What was the difference that, that went into that? Um, well, I kind of grew into my body, my yeah. six foot frame. Uh -huh. And then I had really good teammates, really good coaches. And it makes a big difference, the girls you play with, the people that coach you, what you put, like what you eat. My diet changed dramatically when I got to college. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, most of the time that, that sometimes happen. isn't so good when you go no, to college, it but it sounds the, like it worked. For well. the better. <laughs> When, when you talk about the coaching background, and I know right now, you know, kind of after your graduation, you're, you're working out, staying uh, active, doing that. Mm -hmm. But what went into to building the strength? Because when you're out on that court, every game, doing all the practices, that takes a lot of stress to make that happen. Uh, well, for me, it wasn't stressful because I, I like it so much. Um, the workouts, our pre and post season was a lot of weightlifting, running, agility type of stuff. Um, my big focus was strengthening my core just because that's where all your power comes from usually. And I did not have a very strong core until I got here. And then things like that, just being you in know, the weight room. You see some of the exciting games that, that Fort Hayes played, including the last one, uh, that I uh, still probably like to play that game again. You probably would too. But you have such intensity <laughs> and, and, and the ability to take the basketball and do that. Is that come naturally for you? Uh, yeah, I get fired up pretty easy <laughs> on the court. Um, I'm very competitive. I hate to lose, and that's a big part. Even I went home this weekend when we were just playing some games with my family, and I just don't like losing. <laughs> my whole family's like that. <laughs> it's still uh, carrying it's, on anyway. It carries on. I don't think I'll ever lose that competitive edge. And so on the court, I don't even notice that it happens until after when I think, oh, did I really say that to them? Did I really, <laughs> you know, did I really <laughs> holler that teammate like that? But most of it's just the competitive nature. It kind of just takes over, and it's almost like you're in a whole different world. It's not even... The same. <laughs> now you have a competitive coach you were playing for as well. Yeah, Talk about your two coach. competitive coaches. Um, yeah. Well, Coach Hobson is, yeah, he's pretty competitive. Um, I mean, you look at him and he looks like he's 30 years old and he's not. So that obviously goes through in his coaching too. He's always having us work hard and you shouldn't lose. And then Coach Miller is also very, very competitive. And when she was a player, you could tell just as much. I mean, she played a lot like me with the same competitive edge. You have to have it. A, a big trophy cabinet because I was, <laughs> I was looking down the list of things. Not only were you named the NCAA Division II Player of the Year, but you were the Dactronics uh, Commissioners Association Central Region Most Outstanding Player, mm -hmm. and you're also All Central Region. You were MAAA, MIAA Player of the Year, MIAA Defensive Player of the Year for the third straight year, first team, third straight year, all defense. I mean, you go down <laughs> the list, that's a big trophy case. I have a few awards, yes. Um, they're all actually at home in Newton. I ran out of room here. <laughs> I have a very small bedroom, so um, they're all just sitting at home. 
my parents will do something with them probably. <laughs> They'll save them and give They'll them back They'll save them and give them back, later. yeah. I have a box in the attic full of stuff, so. As you look at your career at Fort Hayes, are there some games that stand out as saying, you know, this game was special because? You know, I get asked that a lot and not really. My time at Fort Hayes was, it's a blur. I mean, it is like a snap and it was gone. Um, I could look at everything and it'd just be like one big game and I don't, there's no specific shot or game I remember. It's the girls I got to be with and play with that made it so amazing. So there's a couple, you know, there's a picture on I think my Facebook page where I'm hugging one of my teammates after we beat Central Missouri in the um, semi champ the semi finals this year. Mm -hmm. That's something I'll never forget. I mean, things like that more so than the big shot. I don't know. Were there any players that you remember that you played against? They say, boy, I, I want to go play that player one more time. Oh, I mean, any of the posts I played against, there's Honor Duvall from uh, Washburn. She was a favorite to play against, I don't know why. Mm -hmm. And then um, Marissa Quick was always one from Emporia. Um, Lizzie Geronda was from Pitt. I always loved playing her because Carrie Shaw always did a really good job guarding her, and it was fun to watch her get frustrated. <laughs> That's <laughs> probably mean to say, but. And then there's some that I played, you know, my freshman year that were, I was kind of like, wow, it'd be really good to be that player. Pittsburgh had a really good post my freshman year, and I think Emporia did too, so. Those are the things that I know when you, you, have, you, you get a chance to get away from it for a while. When those trophies come back mm -hmm. and some of those photos start coming back, I, you know, I just have a wonderful career. Fans-wise, loved you as well and loved <laughs> the team this year. Uh, that last game uh, here at the Coliseum when it was nearly full mm -hmm. and it was just, it was a rockin' place. That, that's just fun to see that, that type mm -hmm. of basketball at Fort Hay State. It is, and I think a lot of that is we're a very personable team and our chemistry is good. I mean, a lot of teams, when they get down or out, you see fighting, yelling, things like that on the court, and we were really good at just pulling together as a unit. And then I think we're a very approachable team for the most part. And so after games, kids come up to us and talk to us and parents, and that makes a big difference when you're at somewhere, you know, where girls just walk out when they're mad. Even if we, not that we lost a lot of games at home, but when we did, um, it was still okay to approach us. We weren't gonna, bite someone's head off, so to speak. <laughs> uh, the personality of the team was really fun yes. across the board. Yes, yeah, and that's rare. That's, we were blessed. You know, when you look at uh, moving ahead, what options do you have now? You graduated, mm -hmm. what, what are the different options that you had? And then we'll talk about where, where you're <laughs> going to be next year because you've made a choice on, on yes. where you're going. Um, I had a few options. I had a couple overseas offers, things like that. Um, I didn't really pursue those or look into them too much. Um, I thought about going back home just to be at home and teach and be with my family a little bit closer. Um, staying in Hayes and helping coach and doing my master's was an option and then teaching here in the area was an option. And then I also have been training some girls a little bit and that's been a good thing. Well, I know you've made your choice mm -hmm. and, and as I understand it, you're going to be at a, a school in the area. Mm -hmm. You'll be Blaine, in Plainville. Yes. And you'll be their head basketball coach, the I women's be. basketball coach. Yes, here. I'll be the first grade teacher, for, first and foremost, the first grade teacher, and uh -huh. then the head women's basketball coach, and then also assistant volleyball. Wow, you're going to go right <laughs> so, into it then. Yeah, I'm kind of jumping in all the way. Well, <laughs> well let's talk about that. Uh, what if somebody that has a career like this? that has done, you know, whether it be blocking shots, free throws, whatever, has every award that's really <laughs> on the books here. What do you do going into a coaching job? Oh, I, yeah, I hope for the best. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Um, I don't have an answer to that. Ask me again in two months. Um, I've been doing a lot of personal training, trying to get myself ready to have like a whole team. So mm -hmm. hopefully that one-on-one -on -one will help me relate my skills to a whole team of girls. And then I met my assistant coach for Plainville, and he seems like a very, very good guy with lots of help. So hopefully yeah. that'll be a good thing. <laughs> well, I know you'll have uh, coaching help from your coach. Yes, you and I now. always know I can, I can call Talia or Coach Hobson whenever I need to, and I'm sure they'll hear from me. <laughs> Kate, it's going to be exciting to not only have known you from the basketball program here to follow your success in, mm -hmm. in Plainville as well, but I want to come back. We're going to take a break. I'm going to come back and talk a little bit about if you're in the fifth, sixth grade now, you're a young lady, <laughs> what you would do to start building to learn to play basketball, not only in high school, but maybe even at Fort Hay State. So we'll, take, we'll talk about that when we come back. Our guest, former Fort Hay State star, basketball star on the women's team, Kate Lehman, back after this. 
Hayes Med is your first and best choice for health care. They're the only facility providing tertiary level services in this region. With more than 70 physicians and 26 specialties, ranging from heart, orthopedic, spine care, cancer, obstetrics and gynecology, wound care, rehabilitation and surgery, including the Da Vinci robotic surgery, Hayes Med is your comprehensive health provider for people throughout Western Kansas. Hayes Med, helping people be healthy. It's a beautiful day in our super high-speed internet great customer service neighborhood. Like you, this is where we live. In fact, our company is employee-owned, so it's our goal to improve the quality of life for everyone in our community by delivering faster, more reliable internet, clearer, more feature-laden phone service, quality TV channels, all with the level of customer service you'd expect from people who are your neighbors. Eagle Communications, our community connected. Welcome back to the second half of the forum program here on Eagle Community Television with our guest, Kate Lehman. If you have any questions about today's show or thoughts, ideas about future shows, we'd like to hear from you. You can send me a note at gary.shorman at eaglecom.net. Again, our guest today is Kate Lehman, basketball, former basketball star, star at Fort Hayes State University. And Kate, we talked about earlier, you mentioned your team. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the team members that you played with. You had a couple that I know that you were close friends with, but, but it just seemed like a great group. Yes, it was, and I'm sure I'll leave some out, so I hope it don't hurt their feelings, but I'll start with Carrie, Carrie and Shaw and Christine Russell. Um, I actually lived with both of them for three years. That'll be the worst part about saying goodbye to Hayes <laughs> and they're yeah. both gonna leave. But and then the other senior, Jenna Ulrich, um, I think the four of us are really what helped the chemistry just be smooth. Um, we all have kind of a go-get it attitude. Um, we're very not drama. <laughs> if mm -hmm. people are trying to you know, start drama, we're like, just stop and things like that. And then all the other girls this year, um, Beth Lasotsky, uh, Jill, Jenna, or I said Jenna, Jill, Paige, Chelsea. Mm -hmm. I mean, th that was a special group of girls that have been together for three or four years, you know, depending on what grade level they're in. And um, Nicole Kaspersky, we have a lot of hard names on our, yeah, <laughs> on yeah. our team. Um, it's been really interesting to get to know her, just being from Poland and a different country and things like that. So they're friendships that I'll have forever. I mean, they And the good are. part is you're close enough. My guess is you can be back here to see some of their games. Yes, hopefully, I'll, I hope to come to a lot. And then, you know, former ones, uh, Janelle Durler graduated three years ago. She was a senior when I was a freshman, and she's someone I still talk to very regularly. So it's just really cool to see how those friendships, I mean, you're just, you know, forever, and it's nice. Well, you know, you look at the team as a whole, but there was that core group of seniors mm -hmm. that, that really made things happen. That developed over years of yes. working together and doing that. It seemed yeah. like you guys all knew where the other player was going yeah. to be, the other person was going to be to make that happen. They all knew you were right in the middle. If they got <laughs> it to you, you could make a shot. Yes. <laughs> that worked out well. What would you tell a young person that's just getting started? They're out on the court right now playing basketball like you were a few years ago. Yes. What would you tell them to do that could really maximize their effectiveness? This is a silly answer, but I'd say just enjoy it. A lot of times in high school, I didn't necessarily enjoy what I was doing until I got to college. Lo learn to love the game and then you'll be better off for it. I mean, I never thought that I would miss it when I was done. And <laughs> I would miss it. You can miss it already. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, learn to love it and then work hard. I mean, that's the biggest thing is just put a little bit of effort into it and it just makes things so much better. If you enjoy what you're doing and you can do it with a good attitude, which is probably the third thing I would say is have a good attitude about it. If you're going to go into it negative and not wanting to be there, don't show up. And that'll probably <laughs> that'll be a coaching philosophy of mine. If you don't want to be here, don't come because it's not, it's just not worth it to waste your time if you don't want to be doing it. And you mentioned working hard. You know, if you, if you really like it, you're not working hard. But you right. know, even even things like free throws. Uh, you set a new school record for a single <laughs> season at free throws. That's one of those things that it's not a glamour play. But when you're out there all alone at the free throw line, it's that practice. Yes. How hard did you work at some uh, of these different skills? The free throws probably was my weakest spot. I was bad at them. And but you set a school record here. Yeah, that? I got fouled a lot. <laughs> I, didn't, <laughs> I shot a lot. I didn't make a lot of free throws. I just shot a lot so, of them. Okay. And I was one of the people I could shoot a bunch of free throws, and sometimes it just didn't even make a difference. I was either going to make it or I wasn't. Um, I'm a big believer in free throw gods, so either you're going to make it or you're not. <laughs> and you had a little different free throw shot as well. Yeah, I shoot them one-handed. I shoot everything one-handed, and probably why my elbows don't really work very well because <laughs> 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 I've expended it so much. But 
drills, I mean, ball handling, you can never do enough ball handling if you're a guard. And then I shot more layups than I could even try and count. I mean, I can drill over and over and over and over again to make layups, things like that. That's what makes a difference. And, and you brought up some great points. And, and it'll be exciting to see how you work and develop that in your team. In I agree. It will be. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe in a few years from now, Brandon, take notes. A uh, year from now, maybe a good time to have you back. We'll see yes. how it went. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Our guest today on the forum program is Kate Lehman, uh, great all star uh, for Fort Hay State University and uh, the women's Tiger basketball team. Thanks for watching the forum here on Eagle Community Television. It's brought to you by Hayes Med and by Eagle Communications, our community connected. Hayes Med is your first and best choice for health care. They're the only facility providing tertiary level services in this region. With more than 70 physicians and 26 specialties, ranging from heart, orthopedic, spine care, cancer, obstetrics and gynecology, wound care, rehabilitation and surgery, including the Da Vinci robotic surgery, Hayes Med is your comprehensive health provider for people throughout Western Kansas. Hayes Med, helping people be healthy.